everybody and welcome to Children's Liturgy for the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We've got some more really wonderful news about Jesus in today's Gospel. So let's welcome Jesus into our hearts now everybody and we'll make the sign of the cross together to begin this Children's Liturgy today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in today's Gospel it starts off with Jesus in a boat with his disciples and they're looking for somewhere to stop and have a little rest because they've been doing so much teaching and sharing of God's love with so many people that they haven't even had time to eat. So they just want to have a little rest and a bit of quiet time and alone time but they find that on the shore there's crowds and crowds of people there who want to see Jesus and to hear his wonderful teachings. Let's See in the gospel then what Jesus does when he's feeling really, really tired and just wants to have a rest. But there's lots and lots of people who just want to see him. Let's find out. We'll sing our Alleluia hymn to praise Jesus. Are we ready? Alle, 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 luya. Alle, 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 luya. Alle, 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 luya. Well done, everybody, and I'm now going to read today's gospel. And it says, after preaching to the people and curing many that were sick, the apostles returned to Jesus and told him everything that they had said and done. And as usual, crowds of people had followed them. The apostles were feeling tired and in need of a rest. And Jesus said to them, we will go somewhere quiet and spend some time alone. However, when Jesus and his friends arrived, a crowd of people had already gathered to meet them. And when Jesus saw them, he was filled with pity because they were like sheep without a shepherd. He sat down on the hillside and began to teach them. What wonderful news indeed in today's gospel. We hear that Jesus and his disciples were feeling really tired and Jesus said to them, let's just go and find a quiet place where we can have some quiet time and be alone. But of course, they then saw this big crowd of people and Jesus felt sorry for them. It says that he took pity on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. He just wanted to care for them, just like a shepherd cares for sheep. And then he sat on the hillside and preached to them. He told them the wonderful news of God's love. The gospel has such wonderful news today because what it's telling us is that Jesus cares for us. Jesus is never too tired to show that he loves us and cares for us. Even though he was tired in the gospel, he saw the people and he just wanted to show them that he cares and that he loves them. And he wanted to share God's love with those people. And that is the best news ever for us all, that we have this best friend in Jesus who is never too busy or ever too tired to care for us. Jesus cares. And that is the wonderful news of today's gospel. We can come to Jesus with anything. You can tell him anything, or perhaps we could just come to Jesus sometimes just to listen to him and just to be still with him. He's always there. Jesus cares for us. Let's make then, just as Jesus said that the people were like shepherd without a sheep, let's make a little sheep today to remind you that we are the sheep and Jesus is the shepherd. And we'll also sing a little song together. Are we ready? Today's tune is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And it goes like this. Row, row, row your boat. Find a place to moor. See the crowds all gathered there, waiting on the shore. And then the voice of Jesus. Come, come, come to me. I'll always be there. I'm the shepherd, you're my sheep. You're safely in my care. Well done, everybody. And now let's join our hands and say a little prayer together. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. You are the shepherd 
and we are the sheep. You are the shepherd and we are the sheep. Thank you for keeping us safe in your loving care always. Thank you for keeping us safe in your loving care always. And we say together, Amen. Well done, everybody. So let's go with that joyful news in our hearts that Jesus cares for us. And we'll try and spend some time with him this week, talking to him and listening to him too. Have a lovely week, everybody. Stay safe and God bless. See you next time. Bye.